guys. Ink and Eddie here for filling in for Rick Shaw. I heard he had a runny nose and I guess they haven't caught it yet. But it's the 18th of September. I just come back from the car lot. I know I had a lot of people say, you know, get a mechanic to, to look them over and you know, somebody said about a scan tool and all this kind of stuff and pull plugs and all this stuff. Well, you know, I know a pretty good car when I see it. And uh, not, one, not one of them was, was acceptable. Of course, with what I got to spend, you're not going to get you're not going to get it. Now, these things, the, the dealer gets them and marks them up to make his money. So, you know, I would get them if they were a lot less, but I'm not forking over the kind of bill they want for what you get. I mean, as soon as I get in them, I'm trying everything. I'm, I smell them first. I try all the pedals, park and brake, everything, make sure all the idiot lights come on. Uh, you know, when you smell the oil and you got a real metallic smell in there, no. And they could change it, but you can't get rid of that smell if it's been run at all. Same way with the radiator fluid. You know, you see any kind of dark color, even with newer fluid, it looks like they put a sealant in. And I always, I always run the heaters, make sure there's no leak. You'll smell the antifreeze in a minute. You know, so none of them. There was, there was one. It was a uh, Explorer with the V6. And it was uh, just at the top of my price range of what I could swing. And then with the insurance, it would have put me a little bit over the top of what I wanted to spend. But it was in good shape. Uh, it had none of the issues any of the other ones had. And then while we were doing it, some guy came in. I guess he got his loan. And he came in and drove it away. <laughs> so, because I wanted to take it for a ride. It looked in beautiful shape, one owner. And all that. So that didn't work out. But, you know, it's, it's just going to be a search for me to do a search. It's, you know, it's just a real pain in the ass. Right now, my back, God, I couldn't even ride the bike today. Uh, the bad thing is, I'm, you know, I'm in tongs. It's kind of cold. And, uh, because I couldn't get my socks and shoes on. I, w I was going to try to get Maddie to help me get them on. And, uh, so then he forgot to give me his homework on Friday or Saturday. So we were doing that until it was time for him to leave. And I was hurting so bad, I took a real hot shower with the pulse thing on and loosened her up a little bit. But I couldn't, I couldn't get bent over to do uh, to do my socks or shoes. So I went, came down in flip flops. <laughs> and it's a, it's a not, not too far. It's only a little over a mile, mile point two, I think the map said. But uh, nice fellas down there, of course, most salesmen are. So, you know, it's probably not going to happen. Not going to happen for a while, finding a buggy uh, that, that I can afford. You know, that because I got it uh, right now, I need, if I, if I do take a payment, I'm going to need about 300 a month and then 100 for the insurance. Found the insurance, even full coverage, I found the company. Uh, I just put in a vehicle I had a VIN number for on his lot because he had all the cars had a VIN number so I used that uh, expedition and full coverage on that was only 70 a month for me my uh, you know my driving record's good I think when I was real young I had a running the stop sign thing and I took it to court because I didn't do that it was uh, it was a setup it was on a side street and a motorcycle came and got me and I said I stopped before cameras and all that so I went to court on it and he never showed up. So I didn't really get a ticket there. I just lost a day of work. And then uh, I think I had a speeding ticket. Where the hell was that? That was out of state. And it was one of them deals where, oh, it was in Illinois. You pay him the 35 bucks right there. And he says, it just, boom, it won't go on your record or nothing. So then, and they even had a credit card machine. <laughs> I thought that was funny. There, and was I speeding? Yeah. But I always wondered, you know, who's the victim? You know, they, they just pop everybody in this big section of the highway. And so, you know, that was back when the speeds were 55. So, But I'm going to let you go. And uh, we hope Rick Shaw gets better. And uh, this is Aiken Eddie.
Don't forget to pray for each other, and I'm out.